So there are people out there in this deconstruction movement. They want to deconstruct your faith in Jesus and in the Bible and Christianity. Uh, a lot of the big flat earth names like Jaronism, Dave Murphy, you know, I don't want to name names everybody, but I've already done videos on them. But all the mostly all the big flat earth channels are to steer you away from the God of the Bible. See, real quickly, maybe, you know, however many, 20, 30 years ago when the people started being able to speak on the internet, they knew that uh, flat earth was coming out because people were talking about it. They'll give you flat earth because that's not really what they're afraid of, even though that's like really hard evidence that the earth is, you know, made, created by somebody. If you take away their big bang and their evolution, well, then people are going to want to turn to the Bible. So they knew flat earth would have people turning to the Bible. And on my channel over the many years, I had a lot of people say to me, wow, P. Brain, thank you. You know, it's really coming to flat earth and you helping explain how the sun works and blah, blah, blah has helped me and I've come to the Bible. So it's happened a lot. I, I mean, I can, scores of people have said that to me over the, you know, eight years or so I've been doing this. I think that there's a lot of channels in place that want to steer you away from the God of the Bible. I'm going to continue to do videos on Jaron because he's got a substantial audience and he's steering people astray. And I've shown that with a couple things already that he cherry picks and takes things out of completely out of context. I've showed that and I'll show more. And one of the things they do is the God of the Old Testament was an eye for an eye and now he's turned the other cheek. They're not the same person. Him and Dave both said that in their live stream. I just want to say same God, different circumstances. The God of the Old Testament was a fighter. He was a war God because he had to keep his people in line for whatever reasons. I don't understand fully God, you know, the mind of God or what he's got in mind. We don't get enough information to know. But what we do know is that he was keeping the lineage of alive and keeping it going so that he could manifest one day in the flesh. That was his plan, right? To have he who was sinless pay the price for sin so that those of us who are sinners could not be held accountable. It's kind of a switch, you know? kind of a merciful thing that he's done and given us this in. The Old Testament was a physical God, a God of the law. The New Testament is the spiritual God and the God of forgiveness, right? So, and the God of salvation. So, I just want to say, don't let them do it. Uh, the same God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament. It's just a different circumstance, right? You had the wartime God, and now you have the salvation God. And as my meme says, one was on a mission, and now it's finished. And these uh, maniacs that try to uh, steer you away from God, you know, again, why is Jaron going after Christians? Why? You know, pr uh, proclaim your own thing, or go after the Muslims or whatever. Why are you going after Christianity? You claim to be some kind of Christian. You know, he's like a Catholic. He mixes the two. He doesn't really know what the heck he's talking about. The two are completely different. Anyway, I just wanted to put this out here in this little meme. I have more ideas for memes like this that I just want to put out. And maybe sometimes I'll talk, maybe sometimes I won't. But that's it. I hope you stay. Listen, at a time like this, we need people returning to the Bible and returning to God. Not being The reason we're in the mess we're in is because people have already been moved away through the education system. They've already infiltrated all those that want to steer you away from God. And so, in the Flat Earth Movement, people like Jaron are no different. Everything he says, every single point, he, when he goes gallivanting through the Old Testament or gish galloping, and then he cherry picks one after another, hitting you with one after another, and then he, the way he characterizes, I will show you this, he characterizes it in a completely deceptive way. I'll show you, actually, I want to do a video on the Christmas tree thing that he said, because I want to know how many... Uh, listeners of Jaron didn't put up a Christmas tree this year because of the things Jaron has said. He's got that completely wrong. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for that one. And uh, that's about it. I, I, I could ramble on this subject. We could, we could go all day. And that's it. Um, dig into the Bible yourself. You'll see. It's preferably the King James. I like to use uh, there's a, something called Bible Hub. You can go to this uh, website and you can see all the, it'll give you all the different versions. It'll give you cross referencing. Just put in the uh, book and the verse you're looking at, and uh, it's it's really good way to study. And another one is there's a try to put this up somewhere, but there's a, you can get readings on the Bible on YouTube and like on the King James version and pick whatever book you want, put it on 
you know, speed and a half, 1.75, double speed, and listen to it. And uh, it's a good way, a quick way to get through some hard books, like the Old Testament books. And when I've done this, well, the good thing about what Jaron has done has gotten me to dig into the Old Testament like I never did before. I read the New Testament through many, many times. I, I knew that book pretty well. That's why when he brought up the streets of gold, I was able to debunk that right away. The Old Testament takes a lot of digging. You're talking about a book that spans thousands of years, right? And, and a developing relationship with God developed over many verses, many chapters, many books, and many hundreds, thousands of years. These uh, relationships with God and the Israelites were developed. So for him to cherry pick, and that's why it's so deceptive what he does, and then he mischaracterizes it, you, and you don't know any better, you're not going to dig into the Old Testament. It's hard. It's a hard read. Leviticus, Numbers, you know, go back through those books, <laughs> the, latter, the latter half of Genesis. It's difficult right? Because it's a history. It's not applicable. A lot of it is not applicable to us because God did a new covenant, a new testament with us. And that's what we're in now, the, the spiritual, the grace. Uh, if you want to read a book and really get to know the character of God, I would recommend John, the Gospel of John. That, that book did it for me in the New Testament. And King James is what I read it in. So anyway, again, I can just go on and on on this. Let me, let me go. Yeah, I hope you all have a good night. All right, bye-bye.